Good evening and welcome to News 10 on my Fox 10. The Wabash Valley is under what's called an air quality action day. That means the air is unhealthy, especially for sensitive groups, children, older adults and people with lung disease. And Storm Team 10 says the dry, hot, dangerous weather is going to continue through the weekend. Many of you have probably noticed the high pollen count that comes along with that hot, dry weather. News 10's Kayla Bryant has more on the pollen count and how to deal with it. The beginning of summer is usually full of fun outdoor activities, but that can be a different story for many people because of the hot, dry weather and the rise in the pollen count. I spoke with one pharmacist about how people can fight their allergies. Denise Hall usually likes to get out and walk in the summer weather, but this year she's noticed a big difference. Normally every year I'm outside working in the yard or whatever, or hiking or whatever, and I don't really notice it that much, but this year definitely noticing it. Much of the Midwest is seeing high temperatures and little rain. This causes the pollen count to skyrocket. In fact, according to our Storm Team 10, the pollen forecast shows that there are high levels from Friday to Monday. The high levels mostly come from grass clippings and trees around this time of year. Like many others, Hall says that she gets itchy eyes and a runny nose, but it could become more than that. It even turned into like a sinus infection and I had to go to the doctor and get a prescription for that. Alpesh Patel is the president of Vigo Health Pharmacy in Terre Haute. He has experienced a rise in allergy patients firsthand. From last month or so, the number of people having allergic symptoms is going higher and higher. Patel recommends people use antihistamines like Claritin or Allegra. Then if that doesn't seem to do the job, there are other options like neti pots or nasal spray. But if you decide to use any of these, Patel says that there's one important key to success. Timing. If you take antihistamine at night, then medicine is already kicked in, is already effective. So morning when you live outside, the, you're not gonna have all the allergic symptoms. For now, it's important to stay medicated. And for Hall, she's crossing her fingers for something else. I would like to see the pollen count go down, but I don't know how to make it do that. <laughs> Patel also says that even if your symptoms begin to die down, it's important to stay medicated throughout the season. And if your symptoms worsen, visit your doctor or see a specialist. Reporting in the newsroom, Kayla Bryant, News 10.